hello my beautiful people how are you everyone welcome to my youtube channel guys how are you doing i miss you i'm missing you guys my name is fatandro can you consider subscribing and if in case you are new here please subscribe and let me know in the comment section how you feel about the videos that i'm always bringing you guys i want to bring you a traditional cow shed a traditional cow shed so let me not take much time guys let me take you direct to the cow shed and before going there here is one of the cows the cows have gone for grazing right behind me here this is the house where the those who are herding the animals yeah the cowboys eh, are leaving here there's one of the animals one of the calves that is, maybe it's it's weak and it's sick it was left behind as the others were going to grazing as others were being taken to the fields for grazing this is the calf i'm talking about as you see it's not feeling well it's very weak since there's no grass and you know animals depend on grasses for calcium so this is one of the calves that was left behind so we are doing zero grazing here as you see the napier grass so we are doing zero grazing sometimes if the animals are weak so today let me take you around the cow shed and here before i go far this is one of the cow sheds, traditional cow sheds. Here is where the calves, the sheep, goats are being kept. Here, this one, right inside here, as you see. This is where the cows, the sheep, the calves are being kept. You see how the place is, guys. So, this is one of the traditional cow shed. And let me know in the comment section how you call this traditional cow shed. Right here, all this field it's almost one acre it's yeah it's almost one acre no 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 no, no. it's one acre plus <clears throat> here is where the animals when they come from the field they are being kept to relax and before going to the field they are being kept to relax so this is just a normal playground eh? for animals to be good or to have healthy bodies they have to do some exercise moving up and down fighting each other yeah so this is the place and when it comes to time for them to be taken in the house, I mean, to be taken for resting, they are being kept in this amazing traditional cow shed, which is being constructed by indigenous tree. And before going in, this is how the look is from outside. This is the entrance. These are the indigenous trees that are being cut from the forest and brought here. They take a long time to grow. These ones, as you see, they are almost 10 years plus down here and they have never been exchanged. So the indigenous trees are very nice. Guys, as you see, almost... <coughs> sorry, the flies are disturbing because there's some smell here. Because of the smell of the animals. And now let me take you inside. Now we are inside the cow shed, guys. Yes, we are inside the cow shed. You see how big it is? This is where the animals are being kept in the night to sleep you see how big it is yes from that edge if we go around this way round round till that corner there yes still down there so here is where the animals are being kept it's very very far from the town and it's just too close to the army base the army base is not very far from here so here there's much security so guys here as you see this is the place where the animals are being kept traditional a uh, cow shed let me know in the comment section how you call it in your language and in your mother tongue and as well these things nowadays are not there hmm? nowadays are not there they're very 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 few but those who are rearing animals they understand not very much people others are going just i mean others are doing a uh, modern house sheds i mean cow sheds eh? but this one is still in the traditional cow shed you see how good it is guys very spacious for the animals to move around very spacious for the animals to sleep yeah this is how traditional how i mean cow shed looks like it's very big 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 going down there yeah you see so let me take you where as well they're being uh, uh where we water them where we water the animals today let me take you to the uh, uh well where we fetch water to water the animals guys yeah guys you see so we are moving today uh watering place where we are watering the animals I'm just walking where uh, where the animals come and relax, you see. And I just let me show you how this place is, guys. Yeah. 
And it's very, very hot here and very, very dry. There's no grasses, there's no rains, so the animals are very, very, very weak. Mm -hmm. This is the place, it is all around, all here, all this, as you see, all this. This is the playground of the animals. The flies are disturbing me, friends. <laughs> the flies are disturbing me. Yeah, so here, this is the trough. Here, this is the trough that we feed yeah, the animals. I mean, we, we used to water the animals. This is the trough we used to water the animals. Not all. They are being uh, watered in, from the rivers, but this one here is only for those that are very weak. They are being watered here. Like the one I show you, I showed you at the gate. So this is the well where we fetch water to water the animals. Mm. Yeah, you see? Let me hold my phone farm. You see? Going down there. This is the well that we use to water the animals. It's just a well. Let me not call it a borehole, but it's just a well. Yes. So friends, I think you've seen till there. Where and how we keep our animals or the cow sheds in this village of ours. I'm trying, I've seen it's much good to bring you this. Yeah. Yes, friends. Let me know in the comment section how you call these cow sheds in a vernacular or at your home, your home place. Or if you have one like this, I'll be much happy to be challenged on it. And always may the Lord bless you guys. Thank you so much for those who keep the, uh, I mean, create time to come and support me, create time to come and watch my videos, as well those who have subscribed. And actually, we are on the road to 100 subscribers, long friends. So keep on supporting me, and always may the Lord bless you. Guys, let me come to the end of the video by saying thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And may the Lord bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye.